Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden at your heart from just the messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for the likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I am tickled because of that last reading like people are really psycho bro let's see what's going on eighth house oh somebody's worried about your money and they want to have intercourse with you oh my gosh <laughs> i'm hearing um what is that stewie off a of family guy i want to have intercourse with you such relations into cause with you <laughs> somebody want to have intercourse with you maybe y'all used to talk about watching family guy or maybe something about family guy i don't know maybe that's just me being goofy but yeah this person wants to regenerate a relationship with you they want to have a rebirth in a relationship with you they see you as graceful now they want to surrender to the fact that you actually have a blessing on you okay wow this person says they want to surrender to it now, but y'all, I'm hearing because they need help. <laughs> it's because they need help. They want to surrender to this situation with you because they need help. Uh, this could be a person of your past life. They could have known that or you could have told them that. They thought you was a damn fool. I just, that's what I heard. They thought you were a lie. They thought you were a damn fool for believing that. This person thought he was above you. You weren't anything. He doesn't think highly of women he collects them though is what i'm hearing so he got a bunch of women he don't think highly of women he doesn't think that they're smart enough they should have someone to rule over him is how he feels wow and he was very intimidated by you because you're artistic and creative and mystical and peaceful yet you can get very serious <laughs> so he didn't understand that he didn't understand why you were being so friendly with him okay and they didn't he didn't under oh they so this had other people he might have plotted against you with other people they thought you were very erratic and a rebel and impulsive because of the choices that you may have made in life but you're actually like a totally cool person friends and groups and goals this person's goal is to be your friend again to get back into your energy so that they can have intercourse with you such relations <laughs> okay but this person knows that you're a healer they need guidance i told you they need something this person needs to get this this person wants to heal so they're going to refine and refocus maybe they're finding out they they can't come at you negatively you don't allow that type of energy in your force field this person feels like you escaped from them <laughs> they feel like they feel like you're an escapist <laughs> Yeah, they feel like you're an escapist. They tried to do something to you. This person was very domineering and excessive. Yeah, okay, very proud, a leader. I told you, and this person feels like you got away from them. So this is somebody who you used to talk to, who you no longer talk to, because you probably found out that they were very extra. They were very overly domineering. They were competitive with you, or they like their feminists to be competitive. What did I just hear? Yes, yeah, their secrets. They want to do the self self sabotage yourself by being competitive with other feminists. Okay, so this man might have excessive y'all. And why am I hearing Fantasia? This goes out to all my baby mamas. This man got a lot of baby mamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this man got a lot of baby mamas, y'all. Okay, he really thought he was smart, but now he's learning that you have a higher education when it comes to religion, okay? And he knows that you're a healer. So this person wants to try to trick you and seduce you. But that's what they did in the past, was try to trick you and seduce you. This was an adversary of yours that you didn't know. Uh, he was playing a trickster, so he might have been playing middleman between you and another group of people is what I'm hearing. Yeah, your career and reputation. These people might have blackballed you from the community. This could have been a handler of yours that you didn't know was trying to take control of you because you're very powerful. Like I said, this man doesn't think highly of women, so he didn't believe in anything that you were doing, but now he has no choice but to believe it, so he wants to bring up some sort of romance, but I'm telling you, this man just want to get you pregnant, bro. He wants to have intercourse with you. Yeah, he want to transition. He wants, he wants to transition, though. What? He wants to transition for what the who the hell? Is he about to cross over? 
South Node. Okay, so he want to take some of your energy and then transmute that and have a rebirth and get in his North Node. But <laughs> I'm getting on from this card. Ain't no way in hell it's going to work that way. He, he, oh, something about your appearance, your outward appearance. Maybe you changed since the last time he seen you and now he really wants to take action. He's like, I don't really like her because, you know, she knows shit. I don't really like her because I'm going to have to respect her, but shit, I need something from her. So I'm going to just play the game how it go. Yeah, this person's very pessimistic. <laughs> This person really don't like you like that, but you can't, he feels like can't nobody heal him or help him, but you, I'm telling you, he got other baby mamas, and he feels like, look, yes, teacher of the Torah, he feels like you got all the secrets, he needs your energy, he feels like who he got at home is not working, whoa, yeah, so now he wants to partnership with you, he wants to partner up with you, and get in his, y'all, this man want to get in the north no he trying to marry you he trying to get you pregnant and marry you because out of all his other baby mamas and feminines you're the most valuable one but he's still not gonna respect you like this man want this is so funny i'm getting like this man will learn a little bit he's willing to learn just a little bit of respect for you just to keep you around something's wrong with his health most definitely something is wrong with his health if he don't tell you that that's what's really going on something's wrong with his health that's why he needs you to help heal him because you're an earth angel. And you can peek behind the veil. This person may be a Taurus and be very lazy and jealous and stubborn and self-indulgent. I'm not saying all Taurus is that. But this is what this masculine is giving me. Alright? I'm hearing some of y'all could be a Sagittarius. Be very enthusiastic and friendly and honest. And that's where you were with this person. He knows you're very talkative. So he feels like if he can start a conversation, if you're not a Sagittarius. He knows that you're very talkative. And he feels like if he can start a conversation with you, he can get you back in. So this person may be doing some sort of work to try to call you in with a conversation. He's self-pitying himself. And he's very fixated and jealous. I'm getting his women. Woo! These feminines are very fixated and jealous uh, because you're you're secretive. They tried to cloak themselves uh, under a new moon to see what it is that you were doing. And now they're having to reflect because they got that ass popped. Also because you're really joyful and beautiful and really loving. All right. They know that you are about to receive something of full moon harvesting endeavors. They know that this man want to come get you pregnant. That's why his baby mamas is mad with you. They know he want to come get you pregnant because you the truth, all right? He feel like you about to get some money and possessions. So he about to come over there with you and make a life with you. Like I said, marry you and drag y'all relationship out for years and not really give a damn about you, okay? This person is very self-righteous, okay? But you're a warrior spirit. You are protected, okay? You have a guardian and you're receiving your justice. This masculine has nothing to do with your justice, okay? Mm, mm, mm. righteousness god of mercy set intentions for your immediate environment okay so you may be being told just to start uh manifesting a new place to be you're gonna have to release and change the your immediate environment pretty soon because these people are gonna continue to try to do this over and over gossip about you they're nervous they're two-faced it they're tense when you're around all right, and you just want to live a well-balanced life, so you're going to be able to get that. Now, why did this come up in this? I'm getting whatever this masculine is about to get ready to do is about to be the road opener for you to move forward. You are protected. I always understand that, but sometimes God needs, I'm hearing push it to the limit. Sometimes God needs people to push it to the limit so that you can be helped out. It's going to work in your favor. I don't know. Something's going to happen. Be Just be, just, just. Keep a, keep a close eye open for whoever this person is because they're going to try to come in, of course. Um, But this person also is very, like, erratic. He's very self-assured. He feels like he can overpower you. So it's kind of like if he comes to you with an offer face-to-face -face and you don't want to take it, he's going to, like, want to fight. Ooh, he's going to get put on his ass. When I said that, I got a God's wrath. I'm telling you, this man might try to try something in public and the police going to pull up on that ass quick or he's going to get laid down very quick. Ooh, wee. I don't know. This person is a little feisty now. He he think he want to come up. Let's see what he's trying to do. Let's see. Let's see. Let me move you guys up here, my loves. 
Let's see. This man's going to try something. He's trying to come in and try something. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this man. <laughs> he mad. Is he mad because you're working with him? Maybe, hey, if you are talking to someone else, this masculine can feel it. I don't know. It's something about your smell. I ain't saying you stink. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But it's something about your smell. It's like this masculine knows your smell. So, okay. I would say that means that y'all have had intercourse before. You thought that, you know, you guys would have had a chance at being stable. This masculine was like, nah, you need to be kissing my feet if you want to be with me. So that ended. You ended it. You knew this person liked to celebrate with a lot of other people. What? I'm telling you. Celebrate with a lot of other people. But now that you got this new passionate beginning in this partnership, in this relationship, this person wants to come in and take an opportunity from you. All right, yeah, in the past, like I said, you thought you were going to be together, but you were heavily burdened because this masculine turned out not to be who he was supposed to be for you. So he might have was supposed to heal something from a past life with you, and he chose not to do it. He called it quits because he liked to celebrate in third parties, okay? He liked having a bunch of baby mamas. He thought he would get success out of that, but now he is exhausted, hurt, broken, all kind of stuff because he can't find someone to be better than you, yeah, he can't be domineering over you. He can't control you. He's heavily burned because you're about to get an offer that he was supposed to keep you away from. So now he's trying to send you messages, maybe spiritually, because I got the four of cups. He could be trying to send you spiritual messages to get into your energy. Maybe to try to like, you know, send some sex magic at you to call you back in. He probably did it in the past and then he went to try to sit down and meditate and do it again and it didn't work. <clears throat> That's why he's exhausted for trying to get into your energy. He knows that if he can get into your energy and marry you, then he can receive your blessings or breadcrumb you accordingly. He wants to breadcrumb you, okay? He wants to receive whatever it is that you have and then breadcrumb you. He's been working with others on this, trying to plot it. Yeah, and he's been waiting on a moment to sabotage, but now he see you moving quickly to your victory. So he's trying to hurry up and get in where he fit in. He wants you to walk away from that. So that's why he's trying to manifest it, but he's being blocked. You're not taking any of them offers. Hell no, okay? This man has been working constantly to appear. No, this man been working constantly to try to figure out who the hell this King of Cups is. Yeah, and he knows that this is going to be the man that wants to marry you, so he wants you to walk away. He don't... Okay, so he needs you to walk away. He needs you to reconcile. So Okay, so this man might try to come in and act like he can be your knight in shining armor for some reason. Knight of Cups. I'm also getting before you leave, he want to have some drinks with you. Before you leave... Okay, so maybe he's trying to have some sort of meetup with you. After he call you in, he's trying to have some... So I'm hearing he might be using somebody else who does Palo as well to try to help him deceive you in the background to change your judgment. Um, these people are working hard to try to get you to change your judgment. Waging spiritual war because if they try to block this relationship, that's exactly what the Holy Spirit said that they're doing. Ooh, shit. Yo, jeez. This person do this. I'm telling you, he's out of there. He is out of there. Who is this King of Swords, though? King of Swords in the ones. I'm thinking these two masculine might know each other. Yeah, these two masculine know each other. This man was trying to find out. I knew he found out. This man was trying to find out who your masculine was, who this is that had your attention, and he fucking found out all right. Whoever he went, he found out who it was, and he knows this person. Oh, this is about to get deep. He knows that this person wants to bring you an offer. He wants to manifest a future with you and take care of you. He's not focused on your high priestess. Like, you're into the, like your powers. I'm here. You got powers. Fuck it. <laughs> I would try to break it down and be like, oh, no, you may not. Nah, you got powers. Yeah, you got spiritual gifts, most definitely. A teacher of the Torah is what I heard, okay? So you most definitely, and that was up there too, teacher of the Torah. Yeah, that's why this man want to be with you. Yeah, like I said, lay with each other in the past, but you use your intuition. You got rid of this masculine, all right? But he knows that someone wants to work with you, so he's trying to cause indecision in between. He paid two people 
to try to cause some conflict for y'all. Okay, so this masculine might have some money. He can pay people to do things for him. He tried to pay some people to start conflicts for y'all, and <laughs> it did not work. He sent five people in, five people came back. You are standing on top still, enterprising, moving forward. This man don't like you to be seen. He don't want nobody else to see you. Ew, like this person really is domineering. He don't want nobody else to see you, but he didn't want to be with you either. Crazy. You're receiving justice because you gain control. You have the courage and confidence. This masculine was trying to break you down, and that's not going to work. Okay, so these feminines that he got, he is a queen of cups. And somebody who he was causing illusions with to try to betray you, maybe his baby mama or whatever. Yeah, because then the Ten of Pentacles came out his baby mama. So he was working with a baby mama or maybe someone he's spiritually tied to. This could be some people in an occult. This masculine might also be married. And he still wanted to come in and try to get an opportunity from you because he mad because his king, queen of cups, that the one he married at home was also trying to take an opportunity from him. Oh, this woman took opportunity from him because she was out here sleeping with somebody else and he never would have thought. So now he feel like since she betrayed me, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go get somebody who better than her. What? So he wants to backtrack and come to you because he's heartbroken about a relationship. <laughs> All right, he's also upset that someone else sees you for who you are. You're still loving and nurturing, but you don't want to give him none of that loving and nurturingness. Okay, so he's like, yeah, he's like, damn, you don't want to help me. You giving other people help. You don't want to give me no help. No, because he caused illusions for you, so he's not able to do that. Yeah, and you're going to go off to this Ten of Pentacles, or this was talking about, you know, if you guys were together in a past life, then this masculine was supposed to heal someone with you, but he chose not to. So now he's just going to stay heartbroken because he wanted to be a whore. Yeah, this masculine um, definitely wants to come bring you an opportunity now. That's what I'm saying. Like, he might want to come say he's sorry or come bring you something. Act like he got some money. Y'all can go out to drink or go out and do whatever. But that's just a part of the plan for him and his people. <laughs> they want to try to block you from moving forward with this other masculine by getting... I'm telling you, this this he a fool. He might like to drink. He might have made this plan while he was drunk. Maybe that's how him and this masculine know each other. But this masculine, no, he, oh, he might have, y'all, I'm here for some of y'all. He got drunk and was talking shit around your masculine about you. I don't think he knew it was your masculine until he got the response he got. What is going on? What response did he get? Because now I'm going to need some, mm, mm He was talking about you. He was talking about you. What was this masculine saying about the collective? Oh, Wow. About y'all relationship. Talk about memories of y'all from the past when he was drunk. Trying to make it. <laughs> trying to make nobody want you. Trying to say you was a hoe. But in the end, he's trying to receive justice with you in, the, in, in secret. Okay, so what about the collector's masculine? What does he feel about this? He feel like this man just want to get back with you because he mad you don't fool with him. And he fool with you and he understand why. This man is disappointed. Why he want to come back to you? Because now... Okay, yeah. So it's like your masculine heard him talking mess about you. In secret, he want to get you pregnant. Damn, your masculine know a lot, don't it? Okay, well, whatever. Your masculine, he was talking to... You know, he was talking about you around him. And um, he was just like, no, nah, I can tell this man want to, you know, be back with her. I see why he don't... Like, it's kind of like they know each other and... I don't think this was something that was that happened on purpose. They know each other how. Yeah, it was unexpected. It's like a small town situation. And this masculine may have been drunk. Did the, did the drunk masculine already know who the collective new masculine is, Holy Spirit? Yes or no? Yeah, he knew who it was. And he was trying to sabotage. And he upset because he couldn't talk shit about you around this man to make him stop liking you. Because this man took his time to already get to know you. Yeah, so he broke, busting and disgusting and upset. Still trying to plot. But I'm thinking that your masculine sees you as for who like sees you for who you are, and he's gonna come in and take you away from all this shit. He feels like this might be a crazy ex of yours. I don't even know if it was that serious, but he feels like it might be a crazy ex or somebody who just really wish they could fuck with you, and he wants to try to continue to keep you trapped and have power over you. And he might have even told this man about a pregnancy trap. Did he tell this man he wanted to get you pregnant? No, he wants to stop people from getting you. Wait a minute. Did they fight? Yes or no? Somebody fought. Maybe just a clash of ambitions. Envy from others. No, somebody might have fought, y'all. I don't know if these masculines fought or not. 
Uh, they had words, is what I heard. They had words. He was like, you just trying to hold that girl back. You know she a hard worker. And you moving forward. And this person's sick. I don't know. <laughs> this masculine just talks a lot of general myths about you, period. He's very upset that you're moving forward, that you're actually the truth. That he couldn't get this masculine away from you. That you're standing up to him and you won't let him back in. You're spiritually awakened to the offers that he was given in the past to try to stop you. You're spiritually awakened to what he did. Okay, I'm also hearing Eight of Swords. He might even go to jail for something. Maybe how what all what he invested into trying to hold you back. This masculine really might be ended up going to jail, or he's going to try to move off somewhere else and just walk away from the situation, or you're going to be able to move off and have a new cycle. Yeah, continuing in success away from these hidden enemies with your new man, okay? This masculine is just going to have to deal with it. He's going to be sick. I'm telling you, it's something about him being sick. That's why he want to come to you and get this opportunity because nobody else can fix him. He knows you're a healer, but you got your guard up to him. So he was just around your, your masculine trying to talk shit. So your masculine wouldn't come to you because he feels like you're the only one that can heal him. This masculine got a message, all right? He's going to bring you a message, the good masculine. He's going to bring you a message that he wants to balance things out with you. Y'all going to start partnering up and working together. It's going to cause this sick masculine, a tower. He ain't going to have no choice but to just watch y'all go off and be successful. And, um, yeah, because you already knew what his plan was. You already knew how he was going to try to change your fate and get you pregnant. But I'm saying, like, this man's sick, though. I guess he really knew the man wouldn't want to bother with you after that. I don't know, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. <laughs> um, I don't even know when I'm going to title this. I'm just going to go ahead and close it out for the night. All right? All right. I hope y'all got what y'all needed from this reading. If you like this one, go back and look at the other ones. And y'all have a good night.